Thanks. Hey, that's Dwayne Simpson playing the guitar for you, and I'm Paul Hummiller from Dream Guitars. And today we're doing a special video to introduce y'all to this beauty, um, the new love of my life. This is, a, this is an early 80s Dumble ODS amplifier. It's number 20. It's a two-channel amplifier by Dumble from the period, um, you know, the early 80s when they were really coveted and used by many top players, you know, Robin Ford and, you know, that beautiful, um, cl the clean sound's amazing and also this beautiful broken up sound that Dwayne and I have been both uh, ogling over. So anyway, uh, we're going to do a whole run through of the amp for you and let you hear a number of the settings of the amplifier and talk about this particular amp, which of course we're offering here for sale for some lucky person out there in the world. So let's give it a go. For starters, again, it's an ODS, so it's their overdrive special. It's a 100 watt amplifier. Um, th this has been refurbished lovingly. This, this amp is actually featured in the Dumble book, so you'll see photos of it. Um, it's coming to us from a wonderful client of ours who's owned the amplifier for a number of years and did the restoration. So. We, he does have the original cabinet, which was a one speaker combo cabinet with this head in it. So he broke it out into two pieces. Um, the cabinetry here was made by Doug Stalters, who's a well-known cabinet maker and it's dovetail jointed, beautiful poplar, it's the real deal. Um, and the one of the original, the original speaker is in the cabinet and then a second one was added and they are the EVM 12L models. So 12 inch speakers just sound incredible. I'm sure Dwayne will agree with me. <laughs> And of course, it's covered in this really cool suede, so it's just gorgeous. This is a real collectible amplifier, but eminently playable. I hope, you know, someone will use this. It's been used on records and movies and different things by a number of people, um, and you'll, you'll hear why. Um, but we've been kind of amazed at just how breathy and beautiful and clear it is. Um, you hear every little thing. Dwayne was even just saying before we started that even without a reverb built in, you don't miss it because there's so much color and um, just ambiance to the amp itself. It's, it's pretty incredible. So hopefully you all hear that from what we're doing here today. Um, so let's do a quick run through of the amp. So it's a two channel amplifier. You've got a clean channel and then of course a, a crunchy channel. Um, the switch for that is on the back or that can be done with the foot switch. There's also two different stages. So there's an FET input as well, which we'll show you. So let's start with just a little clean sound. Just play a little something for the folks. So you can hear how sort of fat and rich it is. And that's on the normal channel. If I go to the FET channel, it actually gets a little bit fatter yet, so. <laughs> so musical and so sweet. If I go back to the normal channel, and there's a lot to go over, so we're not going to necessarily do everything, but I will quickly have Dwayne play, and I'll just flick up top here. You've got a bright switch, a deep switch, a mid, and a jazz rock switch. So I'm just going to hit each of those back and forth for you so you can hear them while Dwayne just plays something beautiful for us. So here's the bright switch. setting here is what we think is the jazz setting. It's quite a bit milder. So you've got a lot of flexibility just with four little switches without even touching that knob yet. So pretty cool. Um, you've of course got volume, treble middle, a mid cut, which is kind of cool, and then a bass, and then you've got overdrive. Um, and then you've got a volume for the second channel and an overall master level. So my favorite setup for a tube amp, I'd love to have a second um, volume for that drive channel so I can really set the gain and, and then the level, of course, back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and flick to the um, overdrive channel now so you can hear some of that.
just that vocal quality that I personally love about dumb amplifiers. I mean, to me, that, that's the juice. You know, you've got this amazing clean sound, but then when you go to solo, you've got this character and this tone. I mean, must feel pretty good, right? Yeah, <laughs> so let's just, since the overdrive is really um, one of the main things um, people enjoy about these amps, let's play with it a little bit. So that right there, he was playing, and we're up about, uh, not quite three o'clock, maybe 2.30 or so, but I'll bring it down to about noon. And everything else, by the way, is pretty flat. So we're not doing a lot of EQing. Um, you're just hearing, this is a great Gil Yarn guitar that we're playing right here. So it's a repro of a 50s Les Paul. So here's about noon, a little less overdrive. I'm gonna take it down to like nine o'clock, so we have just a little bit. And as I bring it up. Time, I'll go to the FET channel, but with crunch this time, so you can hear that. And again, this channel is FET, and it feels a little bit fatter to us. So that's a look at the amp. A little bit more about it in detail. I'll just quickly um, go over some of the changes that were made during the restoration. It's really all the original components are here and could easily be put back into the original combo cabinet, which still um, we still have. So um, very original, even though it's been restored in this beautiful configuration. So the changes that were made, of course, is this cabinet is brand new. Again, handmade by Doug Stalter's out of poplar wood, dovetail jointed. Um, the suede, of course, is, is new. These mini toggles, um, I believe originally they were sliders, so they were changed to mini toggles, which function a lot better. Um, the master volume was on the back originally, that was moved to the front, again, but preserving all the circuitry. Um, the engraving is uh, redone, and then the jewel lamp itself was broken. So all the circuitry, all the guts, and then one of the speakers are all the original. So this thing is um, restored lovingly and done right, so it's killer. Um, so let's have Dwayne take us out with a little bit of music and thank you all for watching. Thank you, Dwayne. Thank you. Dwayne Simpson, y'all. Thanks for listening. <laughs>